Hello everyone, welcome to the Networking Basics mini lecture series. In this mini lecture we will address the topic of IPv4 basic subnetting. Subnetting, what is it, why, how, and a couple of examples, and finally a practical case study. Subnetting allows cr the creation of multiple networks from a single address block. Why do we subnet? To maximize the addressing efficiency, to extend the life of IPv4. And how, finally, do we subnet? We subnet by transforming host bits into networking, networking bits, thus creating additional networks from a single address block. Here is an example of subnetting. In this particular case we have uh, a base address of 192.168.1.0/24. In the first case here, if we borrow or if we transform one host bit into a network bit, we've created two new networks. In the second case here, if we borrow four bits, then we've created four new blocks. So in this one, one bit is two blocks. In this one, two bits is four new blocks. So as you can see here, in the case where we borrow one bit, we've actually transformed. Remember, this used to be a host bit used to be a zero, we've transformed it into a network bit, therefore it becomes a one. And our new subnet mask is 128, which is equivalent to a prefix length of 25. Over here we've borrowed two host bits. Look at our host bits here, these used to be zeros. Look at it here, that's our base used to be zero, then we've transformed them into ones, transformed them into network bits. And the net result, our new mask is 192, and the prefix length is 26. So the little formula here, 2 to the b, where b, b represents the number of borrowed bits or transformed bits, so b is 1. So 2 exponent 1 is 2 new networks. So this formula here gives us the number of new blocks or new networks resulting from the transformation. And for each new network, we have 2 to the h minus 2, where h is the number of host bits. So here we have 2 to the 7 minus 2 is equal to 126, so we have 126 hosts per new network. Here, our formula, b, the number of borrowed bits, is 2, so 2 exponent 2 is 4, so we have 4 new networks, and in each network we have 2 to the h, h is how many host bits do we have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2 to the 6 is let me 64 my minus 2 equals 62. We have 60 hosts, 60, sorry, 62 hosts per network. So in this case right here, our first network will have a network ID a dot zero slash twenty-five. And our second network will have a network ID of 128 slash 25. In the second case here, we have uh, four new networks. The first network will have a dot zero slash 26. The second network ID dot 64 slash 26. The third one is 128 slash 26, and the fourth new network will have a network ID of 192 slash 20. 
and in each of these new networks we will have a maximum number of uh, IPs equal to 62. Now let's review some of the uh, formulas that we've just saw, formulas and variables. So in subnetting you'll see H, H is number of host bits, B is the number of host bits that we've transformed into network bits, uh, B is also the borrowed bits. I'm a little reluctant to using borrowed bits because borrowed implies that you will return but once you've divided or subnetted a base address uh, it is very very difficult to go back. And finally n is the number of network bits. So taking these variables you plug them into these formulas here so number of new networks resulting from the subnetting. So if you've borrowed three bits, then two to the three is equals to eight new networks. And let's say if you have uh, two to the six, for example, you have six host bits, then each network will be able to accommodate to 62 hosts per new network. You need to remember these formulas as they will be uh, used uh, quite extensively in uh, subnetting exercises. Well, let's just look at some very popular subnet masks. So we have the first one here that you've all seen, uh, the second one, dot one twenty eight. E third one, 192, 224, 240, 248, and 252. So the smallest subnet masks yields two hosts per network. And yes, there are instances where you will only have two hosts per network. The specific case being a network uh, connecting uh, two routers. Uh, two routers simply uh, need two connecting or two routers that are connected to each other only need two IP addresses. One IP address per interface. Let's just look at a little diagram here to show that. So this is router 1, router 2, and let's say you're connected in a point to point or one connection. See, you only need one and two, two addresses. Why waste the rest when you can save? All right, let, let us look at another practical case, except this time we will put in practice the formulas that we've used uh, or we've seen earlier. So here we have a base address of 210.210.24. Uh, some of the criterias, uh, the largest network segment that is required or the largest network segment requires a maximum of 25 IP addresses. And the subnetting criteria is such that the base address, you must subnet the base address uh, to yield the maximum address utilization. Hence, we want to eliminate any waste of addresses. In this case, we will use the formula 2 exponent h minus 2 must be greater or equal to 25. So what is the smallest value of h that meets the criteria? So here, if h is equal 1, we don't meet the criteria. 0 is not greater to or equal to 25. h equals 2 doesn't meet the criteria either h equals 3? No. Nah. H, h equals 4? No. Nope. h equals 5? Yes. If h, if we, if the number of host bits is 5, we uh, meet the criteria. That is 3 is greater than or equal to 25. 6 also meets the criteria. 62 is greater than or equal to 25. However, if we use 6, we will not yield 
uh, the maximum address utilization. So six is out of the question. Therefore, our H equals five yields the maximum address utilization. All right, now that we have the number of host bits that meet our criteria, how many bits do we need to borrow? So the formula is 32 minus N, which is 24, plus H, which is the uh, number of host bits. So 24 plus 5, 29, subtracted from 32 equals 3. So we have borrowed 3 bits. We have transformed 3 host bits into network bits. So we have basically broken our base address into 8 network blocks. And each network block can accommodate up to 30 hosts per address or per network. And the new mask is 255.255.255.224, prefix length of slash 27. Here is a practical real life example. My ISP, my internet service provider, has subnetted a base address of 99.0.0.0 slash 8 into a 255, 255.254.0. So they have borrowed 15 bits, or they have transformed 15 host bits into network bits, therefore creating 32,768 new networks. And in each network, each network is able to accommodate 2 exponent 9 minus 2, 510 hosts per network. So, in summary, to conclude, in order to extend the life of IPv4, several changes had to be implemented to the original addressing scheme, including subnetting. When the original subnetting scheme was put in place uh, back in uh, the early uh, 80s, no one ever imagined uh, that the internet would take off like it has taken off. Next, uh, you will be ex I will be preparing a subnetting basics part two, and we will be uh, exploring more uh, subnetting examples. In the meantime, if you want to practice, you can uh, do, uh, or you can practice by uh, uh, ex uh, blah. There are many practice tests on Blackboard. All right, look forward to seeing you the next time. Have a nice day.